hi guys welcome back to anita crochets my name is anita i have made this shirt several times i love how they turn out and um, i'm thinking about making a tutorial for this top as well so stay tuned now first of all these shirts are super super playful i love the fitting i love everything about them like, what i would make like two pairs of shorts in a day that's how much i love making shorts now um this is really going to be fun and easy but first if you're not a video tutorial person you can just find the written pattern on my online shops and purchase it there and maybe refer to the video just in case you're stuck anywhere all right that's the purpose of it all now let's get into the tutorial and see what we need for this one um, the materials we are going to be using, uh, I have a six millimeter hook, all right, and then um, I have a tape measure. You will need this because I'm not going to be telling you particular foundation chains to start with. And then uh, we have stitch markers, and lastly, I have chunky yarn. This yarn is actually chunky, you guys. It is not as thin as you think. Because sometimes I've written tutorials and I've told people I'm using chunky yarn. And I think they find some, I don't know, I think it's DK yarn. And they use that. And you find that the written pattern doesn't give them the sizing I had actually estimated given the yarn I use. So I have found that I need to share... Um, um um adjustments for uh those actually those real sizes i'm sharing in the written pattern so that you guys whether you're working with a different tension or whether you're working with different yarn brands uh it is easier for you to get the very same result all right so with that we make a slip stitch and um we work chains that are equivalent to um your hip size you're going to get your hip size all right measure your hips and work chains that you know when you stretch out your work it can go through your hips okay you do not have to necessarily make chains that can actually fit your hips no because we need this project to be like body hugging in some way you know snap onto the body so in that way you need to make chains that that are in position to uh, meet your hip uh, width all right so uh, once you have the chains that you need for your project you're just going to get back into the very first chain stitch just make sure you do not twist your cord at all okay so uh, you get back into the very first chain stitch right there and work a slip stitch okay just like that now once we have a slip stitch we are going to now chain um I would say to um okay since I'm working since I'm working with half double crochets I have to chain two and then work a half double crochet all right but for me when I chain two I sometimes get uh some small holes oh god I'm using <laughs> I'm using slangs okay I get those you know those really tiny holes in there you know and it shows it looks like there is a seam line right there so i don't usually love to chain two i usually just work one chain but for purposes of the video since most of you are just familiar with that let's chain one and work one half double crochet into every chain stitch all the way around sorry i meant chain two all the way around until we get to the end of our row all right so um we are just going to be working one half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around. And I'm going to meet you once you have all your chain stitches worked at the end of your row, because that's where we have to um, work a slip stitch into the chain two that started the row. So let me meet you guys there then show you what to do. So here we are at the end of our row so i'm just going to insert my hook in there into the second chain stitch of the two chains that started the row and there i will work a slip stitch now what happens next is you chain two and turn your work if you're doing just like i'm doing 
if you're chaining one and turning your work, make sure that that chain one that you work is loose. All right. Loose enough to meet the height of a half double crochet post. If you're not familiar with working one uh, chain when working with half double crochets, please do what you're familiar with. All right. So once you work your chain, you're going to turn your work and work one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around, just like we did previously. So you do this all the way around and uh, still, yeah, when you get to the end of your row, okay, you'll work a slip stitch. And yes, you do the very same thing on the next row and on the next row. And you just keep repeating these rows. I already worked like half my work, so I'm not going to go around with this one, okay? So I'm just going to let you do the very same thing I have showed you to do. Uh, do it all the way around for several rows, at least maximum um, 18. Yeah, a total of 18 rows would work. Yeah, when you get here, you work a slip stitch. Okay, you chain two, turn your work, do the very same thing. So let me meet you there. Once you have all your rows that you need, 18 rows at least. Yeah, 18 rows. Let me meet you after you have those, then show you what to do. Ooh, so this is it. This is um how my work looks like i already had this okay but yeah this is how your work should look like and this is how my work looks like please make sure that the number of stitches and um yeah the number of stitches that you have on each row is exactly the same number of stitches that you have on your last row okay so for me i have a total of 19 Okay, I really just want this to be well fitting, more so high waist. So that's why I'm giving it all the rows that it needs to go all the way up my waist. All right. So yeah, this is where we are. And this is where we are now going to start um, working towards the crotch. So what you do is you count all the rows that you have on your, all the stitches that you have on your last row and divide the number by two. For example, I have 90 stitches. So when I divide it by two, I get 45. Now I'm going to get my stitch marker and count and mark the 45th stitch, okay? Because in that way, that is actually, I have to mark the 46th stitch, all right? Because um, the first stitch at the back is going to be the center of my back. Okay, where my row starts from is actually going to be the center of my back, like you can see right there. Then the one I mark is the center of my front. So um, I have to be marking the 46th stitch, okay? So you do that, then um, I'm going to get back after you have uh, marked your front, then I'm going to show you how to work your crotch. Okay, since I'm working with several colors, of course, I'll be uh, attaching another color onto this. So, um, yeah, once I have it fully attached, I am going to chain one. All right, I'm using daylight and it is super, super smooth and, you know, vibrant. I like this. Hmm. After we have the approach, I'm going to tell you guys something that has been delaying me on um, working several tutorials like I initially was okay now um like I said the very first stitch is the center of our back side and then the marked stitch is the center of our front side so what happens into this very first stitch when we chain one and turn our work we are going to work four half double crochets all in that very same stitch. Okay. So into the same stitch, you work four half double crochets, just like I have done. And then after that, we are going to be working one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until we are close to the marked stitch. Okay. So just work your one half double crochet into every stitch until you are close to the marked stitch. So yes, you know, I will not really find time to explain a lot in a tutorial, but let me tell you something. <clears throat> I've been getting so much headache to the extent uh, I've, been, I've been to an optician. 
and I realized that the migraines I've been getting is because I use studio lights a lot a lot to the extent that um when i'm off the studio lights i am on maybe the laptop trying to type a pattern or on my phone trying to you know yeah so when you get to the marked stage i'm of course going to stop conversing back to the tutorial now um yeah here we are um we are at the marked stitch right here and into the marked stitch i'm still going to leave my stitch markers so that you guys can you know not forget that I am working into the marked stitch. So in there, I'm going to do exactly what I did previously. I'm going to work four half double crochets all in the very same stitch, just like that. And then from here, I am going to um go ahead and work my one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until the last stitch and then I will work a slip stitch into the second uh, chain stitch of the two chains that started the row okay so from here just work your normal one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around yeah back to my headaches I I had to check my blood to see whether I have there is that I don't know they call it there is that lab test they tell you to do if you are having headaches to see whether you either have so much blood or enough blood in the body. I did that and everything was okay until I figured probably it's the light that hits my eyes that makes my head to pain all the time. Yeah, so I have learned and adjusted to daylight, natural light because it's actually better. So in most cases, I have to carry out my working table, carry it back in. So literally I am having so much work, but if it's better for my health, then I will have to do that, okay? Also the result is better because you see, it's vibrant. Everything is so clear. Back to the tutorial. So yeah, once you have worked your slip stitch at the end of your row, what you do is you chain one, sorry, chain two, turn your work and then work one half double crochet into every stitch until we are at the center. So I'm going to remark now what should be the center. The center is, um, the st you know, in between the four half double crochets that we worked right there that we had previously marked so that's the center so you work your half double crochets until we are close to that marked stitch right there and once you are close just like i am what you do now is we work two half double crochets all in this very same stitch just like that okay now here i am going to chain eight i usually work 10 chains but for this time, since I took measurements of my hips, I feel like if I work 10 chains, it may not be like body hugging like I really want it because I want it to snap onto my thigh like a glove, you know. So I'm chaining eight. And once you have eight chains, we are going to cross over into the stitch that's in between the four half double crochets or like the center of the four half double crochets at our back. And in there, we work two half double crochets like you have seen. Then into the next stitch, we work one half double crochet. And since it's the end of our row, we shall just work a slip stitch into the two chains that started the row. So now you see that we have, you know, like separated our what was a skirt, now a short somehow. Okay. So now from here, we are going to chain one and turn our work or chain two rather and work one half double crochet into every stitch okay now when we get onto the bridge we have created for our crotch area still we are just going to keep working one half double crochet all along those stitches there were eight chains so you're going to work eight half double crochets okay into those eight stitches or those eight chains all right that is one half double crochet in each chain all the way back to the other side okay and again once on the other side um, of our shot now we still work one half double crochet into every stitch until the end of the row right there so you just keep doing that and do that and do that I'm just going to work I think like um, five rows from my crotch 
that is enough length before I start my pen plum. So just do that, then I'm going to meet you once you have your, you know, the rows that you want, okay? So this is how it looks like so far. I've worked five rows from my crotch and I feel it's just enough length before I start um, on my pen plum, okay? Or my ruffle. So that's how it looks like. Now to get started on my ruffle, I'm just going to get my new yarn. While I attach that, let me go back to my story. Yeah, guys, I'm using daylight. It's fun. It's vibrant. I feel better. Like, I feel better. I've been taking paracetamol every day. And it reached a point I felt like, no, this is too much. I am now just intoxicating myself, you know. But yeah, I feel better. You know, I get enough rest at least. My eyes no longer feel teary all the time. So yes, I feel better. Back to the shots. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yes, I need to keep you guys updated. I rarely even make live videos. I think I'll get to making that so you guys can know what's going on in my life. All right. So, um, yeah. Once we have attached our new yarn, uh, I'm going to get into that very same stitch. This time, strictly, you're chaining one and turning your work. Why? Because I am working single crochets. Okay? So, yeah. I, um, I, was, I was trying out something because I intend to have front posts. And I'll explain why. So, I was just trying to see whether it can work. But, um... Let's work one single crochet into every stitch all the way around, okay? The reason as to why I work a row of single crochet before any ruffle, um, I have done this even in my previous videos where I have a skirt that is ruffled and all that, I, but I never explain it, yeah. So the reason as to why, if you work ruffles over your previous stitches, there is a way your last row that you worked before the ruffles or the, you know, the, the pimplum, there is a way it flares up. Before I do any further explanation, once you have ended your row of single crochets, okay? Now, look at my shoots. This should be the inside, and this is the actual outside. When you look at my waistline right there on the foundation chains, what is on top is what should be on the inside. And for me, that is how I work my shoots, and they turn out perfectly, more so at the waist area. Guys, there is so much about booty shorts, like so many tricks about booty shorts that I need to share with you guys probably in a live video because I don't know how to explain it. I promise a live video that will explain why I turn my shorts in out, in out, like have what should have been the inside outside and why I do it. I will show it to you guys. Now also something that I will show to you guys is yeah what i was trying to explain the ruffles and the seam line but yeah now we are going to get started on working our um pimplum so we chain two and we do not turn our work because remember i told you turn your crotch uh, short in out okay so yeah once you do that you're now going to chain two and work a front post half double crochet into the very first stitch and then into the next stitch you work two front post half double crochets okay then into the next one front post half double crochet and then two front post half double crochets into the next stitch okay there is that insect flying by i am outside i'm sorry but just focus on what i'm trying to do okay so yeah you work one front post half double crochet in one stitch and then into the next stitch you work two front post half double crochets all in that very same stitch now you see it is flaring to the outside like flaring up okay and this is what you do all the way around you see it's flaring up like that okay because for me this is what my outside what i want for my outside now if you look inside there is that fold that separates the body of the shorts from the pimplum so it makes it look like the pimplum was actually sewed onto the shorts that's what i'm trying to explain but english is not my language it is so hard i need to find time for a live video to explain all these tricks for you guys you know 
because initially I was working um, tutorials for ruffle skirts and blah 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 and I never explained these things and why I do them like that okay because I usually carry tailoring knowledge into crochet to get the results that I get okay so yeah I'll find time for a live video and explain that I hope someone is really trying to understand what I am explaining because it is so hard it is so hard to explain it if you understood honestly just leave me a comment in the comment section i'll feel so glad to see that someone has really understood what i'm trying to explain now for the next row we are just going to work the normal half double crochets one half double crochet into every stitch okay but just in case you're looking for more ruffle or like more folds or folding what you will do is you will work two half double crochets into the first two stitches and then two half double crochets into the third stitch all in that very same third stitch okay so you work two half double crochets into the next two stitches that is one half double crochet one half double crochet okay then two half double crochets into the next stitch after that okay so in that way it will give you more ruffle but if you're looking for just you know reasonable ruffle more like pimplum just like the shirt you're seeing you have to work just one row of just normal half double crochets no increase anywhere no what what so literally the front posts stop on the very first row where we are introducing the pimplum onto the shorts okay you don't carry on the front posts anymore we don't need them anymore okay so here i was trying to um elaborate or show you for those that are looking for more ruffle what you need to do okay but for us who are looking for just the normal normal ruffle we work one row of an increase then one row of just normal one one half double crochet into every stitch the next row after that is where we do this okay is where we work two half double crochets into the next two stitches and then two half double crochets in the next so on the next row because we want it to get wider okay you work three half double crochets into the next three stitches then into the fourth stitch you work two half double crochets all in that very same stitch i hope i am clear hmm? so in that way it gets wider and wider and wider so you just carry that on for just the next four rows okay and once you have your four rows like um it looks here I actually made yeah I actually made a total of five rows for my pimplum but if you want you know more length you can add a few more rows okay just like that you see that so that's how it looks like for me I was working one row that has that increase of two half double crochets in one stitch the next row is just normal half double crochets no increase whatsoever then the row after that is where I carry on the increments okay because I wasn't looking for that too much folding and everything. I just wanted just enough comfort between my legs. I don't want like very, very huge ruffles. I hope you understand me. Now I'm going to start from here to show you how to get started on your other leg before you now just carry on with what we did for this uh, previous leg. Okay, so let me just show you one row just to show you how to maneuver the crotch area for this leg. After that, you're just going to carry on with what we did for the other leg and, uh, you know, carry it onto this other leg and finish it on your own. All right. So here we are. I'm going to get my yarn and attach it. I don't even know why I'm showing you this. <laughs> but yeah. Guys, let me tell you something. Okay, while I attach my yarn, I did this project not because I really needed badly to do it, but um, I'm just giving a shot at shots because <laughs> I barely have tutorials. I have so many top tutorials, like crop top tutorials, and not so many for shorts, not so many for skirts. I don't know why we always give you tops and not the bottoms. <laughs> okay so um yeah i'm going to find a stitch at the back okay just 
a stitch before um, the two half double crochets that were part of the four half double crochets that we worked. I hope I'm clear. Okay. Right there, I will pull through my yarn. Anyway, you can start anywhere at the back. It's all up to you. But yeah, we work uh, two chains and then work two half double crochets towards the crotch area. We are working towards the crotch area, not the other way, okay? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we work uh, one half double crochet into every stitch until we get to what should be the center, okay? The center is where we previously worked two half double crochets, then worked our chains to cross over to the other side. Now for us, when we get there, we work two half double crochets all into that very same spot. Now what happens, I will work a slip stitch into the last second half double crochet that started the chains, okay? And once I've worked my slip stitch, I have closed up my crotch. Now I am going to work one single crochet into all chain stitches into the opposite side of the chain stitches we worked for the bridge of our crotch. Okay. So once you have worked all your single crochets, there should be eight of them, eight, only eight. Now, because we want to cross over to the other side of our shorts. Okay. This is what happens. You see, there is this uh, half double crochet because into that uh, stitch right there, we had those two half double crochets, okay, right there. So for me, I will get into the top of the half double crochet, the last half double crochet right there, and I'll pull through my yarn, then yarn over, and then I will get into the bottom of that half double crochet, which should be the center of my front, and in there as well, I'll pull through my yarn. So I will be having four loops on my hook. And there I will yarn over and pull through all four loops. So you see here what we did is I worked a slip, I worked my two half double crochets, then worked a slip stitch to attach it to the previous half double crochets of my left leg. So what I did there, having the four loops uh, pull through all of them, will mimic that half double crochet with a slip stitch. Okay? So yes. Into that very same stitch once again, you work your second half double crochet. And after that, you just keep working one half double crochet into every stitch all the way around until you get to the end of your row and work a slip stitch into the chain two that started the row. Now, after that, we have balanced our legs up. Our crotch is really secure because what we do working single crochets along our crotch, one of the reasons it is to secure our crotch area, okay? So since that is done, we are just going to copy and paste what we did for the other leg, okay? Working our five rows before the pemplum and then the pemplum. Just do, do the very same thing, copy and paste onto this other leg and work it until the finish, okay? So I am going to get back and show you how to work your waist. Now, uh, moving on to our waist, I am just going to find anywhere at the back and I will insert my hook in there and pull through my yarn. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to chain two. Why? Because I am working double crochets, okay? So um, into this very same stitch, I'm going to work a double crochet and then I am going to be working one double crochet into every stitch all the way around until I come to the end of my row, then work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch that started this row, okay? So guys, like I said when I was um, working these shorts, I have my shorts turned in out, so what should be on the inside is what's on the outside. And honestly, I'll find time and make a live video to show you the result of all of these tricks that I try to share with you guys because it is so hard to explain to your understanding. I don't know. You know, you need to see it yourself, see the effect and the result of it and why I keep doing this. So go all the way around. Now for the next row, you are just going to chain two, turn your work, work one double crochet, then a front post double crochet after that. One double crochet and a front post. Why? I need some kind of ribbing for my waistline. So finish your leg, work your waist, then put a drawstring. And um, here is how it looks like before I put my drawstring. It looks perfect. 
so i don't know why am i even blowing my own trumpet but yeah this is how it looks like this is the ribbing i was trying to tell you it's one front post double crochet followed by a normal double crochet all the way around so this is how it looks like now we are going to be running our drawstring into the very last row of our waistline after that weave in all your ends cut them off make sure your work is clean and you know looking nice and after that draw your string you know your shorts are literally going to be super perfect and well fitted and yes let me see you all in my next tutorial thank you so much for watching a written pattern is available bye